everyone. Today we will talk about benefits of Test Trigger. As a reminder, Test Trigger is an AI agent for testing for web, mobile, and native desktop applications. By far the number one benefit of using Test Trigger is almost eliminated test maintenance. The test maintenance is uh, significantly less. We have measured with our customers that they started to spend 200 times less time maintaining test trigger code versus Selenium code. How does test trigger achieve that? Traditionally, when you write your end-to-end -end tests, you rely on details of implementation. Those could be IDs, names, or XPuffs, or CSS selectors. All those things are details of implementation, how exactly different engineers decide to code the page or the screen as opposed to how it should function from a user's perspective. And before, because the coding and specific details are constantly changing, it uh, leads to constant uh, overwhelming demand to update the tests and updating the test takes a lot of time. It's a huge overhead to update the test because uh, you would, if you see the test breaking, you would need to run the system, go through it, find the place, see what is going on, if it's really an issue, or uh, you need to update the XPath or any other selector, and then update the selector and go through the whole SDLC in order to update the code in Selenium that had that selector. Um, so overhead even for minute changes is huge. Moreover, uh, engineers oftentimes don't even have control over how exactly elements are rendered because they use third-party libraries which they must update from time to time because of security requirements or need to use other features. All right, so the trigger solved this by uh, allowing you to elevate your tests on purely to the human level. The trigger tests are written in plain English using exactly no zero details of implementation whatsoever and you can keep your plain plain English plain text files in Git if you'd like executing them from scratch or writing them in English storing them in your Git and executing them in test trigger because test trigger reads and executes plain English. So this allows our customers to scale quality assurance and be able to achieve the uh, numbers of automated test cases that they would have otherwise not be able to achieve because on average an engineer with Selenium would have to spend his full day it's a full-time job to just maintain around 300 to 350 and to end Selenium tests so uh, Selenium engineers would cap out on test maintenance and test trigger helps you to solve that uh, you would spend almost no time maintaining your test and will be able to focus on building new tests. Moreover, um, 
it is significantly faster to build tests with test trigger not only it is faster because there is less code to write but also you can involve your manual testers to build a test automation and product managers to write specification from which test, uh, test cases are generated and then needs to be usually updated by QA teams and product managers can review what uh, QA automation engineers have done and all that information is 100% transparent and shared and can, can be collaborated upon. So it is both speed up uh, in uh, speed of test creation from more powerful framework and adding more people and it is improving the quality of test cases because now product managers or business analysts or any product owners can review exactly what is being tested uh, to compare it with the original specification to see did it match or not. <coughs> Moreover, you can actually uh, achieve thousands of automated test cases per person per year uh, with import from uh, test case management systems like TestRail. If you already have your test cases documented, then it is as simple as import in majority of the cases uh, and of course clean up to make sure they are detailed enough and clear enough for execution. Moreover, test trigger will help you to be able to save 30 to 40 percent of your engineering time wasted on rework. How? It's uh, basically with a BDD-like process. The uh, problem with traditional process, uh, including the traditional way of doing BDD, involves product managers writing the specification and engineers writing the code, then QA automation writing the QA code to automate original specifications and then testing and move to production. As you can see here, the QA automation is done post factum and the custom catch up, uh, which <coughs> oftentimes lead to incomplete coverage and delays. With the new process that you can achieve with test trigger, product managers can write specifications exactly the same way as we do right now, then use uh, our system to generate and to an automated test cases from the specification itself. And of course, those uh, test cases need to be reviewed and approved by QA automation team in order to, to be able to achieve what they need to be to achieve but uh, that can be done before engineers write the code and this is exactly how you're providing specifications that are executable to engineers and therefore removing uh, all possibility of um, releasing code that was not intended or code with um, errors that might have been prevented earlier in the process and this is how you save on average 35 percent of engineering time moreover uh, that's not all a lot of companies today release ai based features and use graphs and diagrams in their products. How exactly do you test those? 
so far the main way to test those is manual and test trigger will help you to automate those uh, these validations so you can have automated tests for AI features graphs and diagrams and the way you do it is you use a limited guardrail AI and ask it to validate certain statements about your AI feature or graphs and diagrams and this is uh, how you do the validations for example if you are testing your AI chatbot um, you can validate that the last response was positive and conveyed A, B and C and if you are testing graphs you can validate things uh, statements like uh, yes this graph should be growing and there are two graph lines displayed on the graph next is a test trigger is a pure end-to-end -end testing framework that allows our customers to write tests that span native desktop, web, mobile, email, multi-factor authentication, SMS, uh, steps, and so on and so forth in one test. Moreover, because the steps are in plain English, the code that you can write, let's say, for Android can and should be reused for iOS, web, and native desktop tests. That speeds up usually three times uh, because usually people have web, Android, and iOS tests. Um, around three times the am amount of tests you need to write drops three times and therefore you're able to write three times more tests since the test is mostly reused across web, Android and iOS. And on that, uh, please feel free to come to testtrigger.com and request a demo. Moreover, you can find in the top menu of the trigger a link to our benefits page that goes into more details providing links to pages that go into significant amount of details explaining how exactly do different things and uh, much more than that uh, on top of that <coughs> i'll show you uh, returning back to the stability which is number one value of this trigger uh, I will show you the um, example of how a stable test trigger is just as an illustration so we have uh, written the tests that we ran on Best Buy, then we attempted to run on Amazon, Amazon block test, so it canceled, and we ran the those tests on Newegg. Let's see the results. All the tests failed. Let's see first in the failed test. Um, clearly, Amazon Kindle Paperwhite signature was not found uh, right away because Kindle was. Uh, showing drop down menu with that particular type of Kindle right then you entered the Kindle into the search search bar and uh, New Act doesn't do things like that so uh, therefore this more specific uh, test failed to run on New Act, which is exactly expected and you want your test to fail if they can't proceed. However, 
if you look into these tests that first find and select a Kindle then add it to the shopping cart and then proceed to check out like that uh, in these English statements then uh, you can open it up and see that it ran, ran successfully on both uh, Best Buy and this is the test running on the Best Buy finds the Kindle and goes to the Kindle as the cart and goes to cart and so on and so forth and the same exact test was able to run on newyag.com basic do, basically doing similar things probably slightly differently we entered Kindle in a search site <coughs> and then to Kindle as you can see it's slightly different approach but uh, um, overall um, it went went ahead and did complete uh, the same steps for those prompts if you're not satisfied with how exactly test trigger does it you can always uh, go to a specific prompt you can either correct the prompt itself as such or you can correct the steps uh, that it did uh, to make it do whatever you would like to do and this is how the trigger achieves unprecedented uh, decrease in test maintenance you are elevating your test cases on functional level from end user's perspective as opposed to sticking uh, to testing details of implementation thank you very much